Hello guys, Skid here and welcome back to Final Fantasy Weekend with Final Fantasy 7. Last time we left off, I had defeated the Midgar Zalem and guess what I got for Barret? Yes indeed, I got Barret Beta. Yes, <laughs> I actually did it. Perfectly. Like, I am so happy that I did that. Um, we're gonna move those two back up in the front because I don't need them in the back anymore. Uh, let me see if everybody's. E I still have him. Oh, yeah, I, I did readjust everybody's material. Hold on, my. Hold on. Music was a little bit loud there. Wow, yeah, that music was really loud. I was sitting there having to yell just to hear myself. Um, okay, we're going to use an ether on Cloud, and now let's continue the rest of the game. Hold on, I think... Um, there we go. All right. Let's do this. So, here's the uh, thing, as you see. We didn't even need to catch a chocobo, because we made it across with that one. And the Midgar Zone's back. Ah, oh, that music, man. All right. Here we are, guys. Now, there is a monster in here that I can learn a skill from as well, an enemy skill from. And I believe it's the dragon there, I think. No, it might... Mm, I don't remember. Hold on. There we go. Feels good to be playing this again. It's been about a... Mm, well, it's been about a week since I've played it, so yeah. A lot of slowdown for some reason. That I don't know if you guys have seen that, but there's a lot of slowdown here and there. Ow, ow. Let's do big shot on you. So long, Arc Dragon. Boom. Flamethrower. Yes, this is the move. But don't use it on her. I need him. To, I need him to use that flamethrower move on Barrett. That's the move I can learn. Is flamethrower. Um, let's. Try to steal from him, I guess. Could steal anything. Okay, so you can steal something. Yes! Boom! Learned. Alright. Let's see if there's anything to steal. I yeah, okay, I got an ether. Um, that's fine. Okay, enough of that flamethrower. That's enough. Stop. That that move really hurts. Let's do that. And Cloud, finish it off. With a cross slash. Awesome. So I learned the flamethrower move, which is what I wanted in the first place. But I believe there's some things that I can steal in here as well. I got a tent. That's a pretty good item. <clears throat> Not a mate. Ooh. Hello. I forgot about you. I forgot about you. I forgot about this little pathway you can climb up there. Holy crap. Um, no, none of you are what I'm looking for. So, quick. Bolt on all. Fire on all. I'll probably heal that dragon, actually, that fire will. Ooh, damn. Earthquake works really well on you two guys. No! Stop. Wow, that flamethrower does a lot of... adds a lot of limit, though. Cold breath, ow. Beat rush. Boom, 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 boom. One down. Somersault. Two down. Sweet. Now Barret can finally cast fire on everybody. Is that what's going on here? Why isn't it? Why is it? Oh, there it is. Finally, man, Barret you took your sweet time. <laughs> oh well, whatever. All right, let's forget this now. Yes, long range. That's a. That is a fantastic materia. 
to put on like Cloud. So he has the cover, and uh, cover mixed with that long range. Let's put that long range over the ice and put the ice over Sense. I'm not really a big fan of Sense anyway. But yeah, um, that cover materia mixed with the long range materia. Now I can actually put Cloud in the back row. And with that long range material, will allow him to still do the same amount of damage as if he were in the front row. So now he's going to have extra defense. And you know, with cover, too, so he'll be in the back and he'll be able to cover and take less damage. So yeah, it, it all works out. Perfect. Love it. Um, now I know where I'm supposed to go, but... Ah, hello chest. A mind source, that is quite a useful item. Of course, to be used on cloud. That is nothing, and that is nothing, okay. There's an, now I know there's a certain enemy in here. I'm looking for this certain enemy. There he is, these guys. I think you can steal a certain item from these fellows. I think. Could still anything. I gotta wait and see what this item is before I kill them off. They don't do too much. Okay. Analog. Oh my god. Could still anything. Come on. Cloud limit break. Let's uh cure cloud. Steal. Come on, Tifa. Come on. Damn. Ten damage? Oh, they must be doing something... I don't know. Come on, Tifa. Grand Glove. Yes, that's what I was looking for. And now the phone's ringing. I have... Okay, never mind. I hope I edit that out, but if I don't, just know that it was dumb, and I don't know who the call is from. Bam! 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 Dead, sucker! Now that Grand Glove is a weapon for Tifa. I believe it's a really good one, too. Yes. All right. So equip Tifa with Grand Glove. Oh yeah! Look at that. Awesome. So that means I can equip that Sense Materia back on. Wait, which one did I want? Yeah, that one. Cool. Super happy about that, man. I'm remembering all the cool stuff in this game. Um, that's gonna be the exit here. All right. Oh no, it's the Turks. Don't you remember them, Tifa? Yes, you're the Turks. So basically, you can thank us for your um, promotion in, into the Turks. Hello, song. Thanks, 
Elena for telling me exactly where you <laughs> headed. Okay, I welcome him with open arms. I mean, he was blowing up the, uh, the pillar that made Sector 7 collapse. Of course I was gonna, you know, show him a few bloody bones. No, Aerith's with the others. Yeah, I'm sure you gave her plenty of your regards when you slapped her across the face, you asshole. Which she didn't deserve. Received elixir. Received high potion. I forget if there's anything else over here. There's enemies, obviously. All of which can die. Fire! Oh my god, stop. Just stop. Get him, Cloud. Bam, 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 bam. Nice. That was a good hit. And level up for Cloud. Okay, let's get out of here. That's all that I needed from here. Out of this cave. Back to the overworld. Hell yeah. Now, this is an interesting place up here. This uh, fort right here, it's Fort Condor, is what this place is called. Uh, you can go in there and there's like a mini game you can play. But we're not. Mm, we're not gonna do that just yet. Um, let's see if we can steal something from these guys. Ow. Tifa limit break. Nothing to steal. Alright, well, this thing's going down. Just because you're flying, it's not going to help you, man. But yeah, this Fort Condor, there's a minigame here, um, but it costs a lot of money. Not that I don't have the money. I'm pretty sure I can afford everything there is to do in this game, this mini game. But I'm not gonna do it just yet. I'm gonna wait. Or should I? I don't remember. Should I do this? Eh, it won't hurt anything. I don't think. I'll go ahead and do it. I'm gonna save right there. Um, but before I do this, um, before I do this mini game, there we go. I'm gonna go over to this little forest area. And there is a reason. Let's see if I can run into a certain battle. There's a certain battle that I'm... There it is. This is the battle. Now... This is the earliest in the game that you can uh, recruit this character. Yes. This is a character that you run into here, and you can actually get her on your team. But, um, now, I'm gonna have a lot of people really mad at me here in a second. Um, well, I'll explain to you after this little cutscene. So there, she, we knocked her down. There's a save point over there, but you don't want to use that, trust me. Man, I can't believe I lost. Let me tell you why. If you went over there and used that save point, um, she would make off with some of your money, and she'd be she'd disappear. Uh, not interested. 
They can run away, stay and fight. Fight, I said. Come on, what's the matter? You're pretty scared of me, huh? Oh uh, yeah, petrified. This is the right options to say to get her on your team, by the way. Just as a thought, what would you expect with my skills? Good luck to you guys, too. If you fill up to it, we can go another round later. I'm gonna leave, I mean it. Wait a sec. What is it, you still have something for me? Hmm, so is that it? I don't know, you want my help because I'm so good. You want me to go with you? That's right. Hey, hey, I thought so. You put me in a spot. Hmm, what should I do? But if you want me to that bad, I can't refuse. Alright, I'll go with you. Let's hurry along. Huh? Hey, hey! Now, any of those other options, if you chose them, she would make off with some of your money, and then you'd have to fight her and fight her again and redo it, so... I haven't even told you my name. So, this is Yuffie. Um... Like I said, I'm about to make a lot of people mad. I... I hate Yuffie. I don't like her. At all. I really don't. Um... She is definitely, by far, my least favorite character in most Final Fantasy games. I'd say I'd like I like her a bit more than like Lightning from FF13, but she's still pretty low. Pretty low on there. Um what do I name her? Should I just keep her name Yuffie? Uh, I don't know. I I don't know if I should try to name her something that might make No, I know what I'll name her. I know what I want to name her. It's a perfect name for her. I'm going to name her Dante. Now, there's a reason why I'm naming her Dante. This, uh, Dante is a character in, in a comic that me and my wife work on, and Dante's like a, a, a thief ninja type character, and uh, a lot of people find her annoying, and I find Yuffie annoying, so I'm gonna name her Dante. Maybe it'll like me. Maybe it'll make me like her a bit better. I'm Dante. Good to meet you. Hey, <laughs> hey, just as I planned. Now all I have to do is a little this and a little that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I know. I've. I should have kept her name Yuffie. I might I might change it back to Yuffie. I might change it back to Yuffie, but yeah, I don't care for her. I never use her on my team. Uh, a lot of people do because apparently she has like a really good like uh, limit break that she can use later. But eh, I'm just not a fan. I just I never liked her, and I find it funny because like there's a. Um, yeah, never mind. It's fine. We've been fighting the Shinra on this battlefield for a long time. We've still settled in for a long war with them. Could you spare some time and help us fight them? We don't want to sound pushy, so if you're busy with something, why don't you finish that first? We'll help you. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and do this little mini-game here. Just because I can. And um, even though I don't like Yuffie... Yeah, I'm gonna rename her Yuffie. I'll probably, like, edit the game file and I'll rename her back to Yuffie instead of Dante. But, um, even though I don't like her, I do believe that she adds, uh, a little bit to, like, some of the game cutscenes and stuff. Or, uh, like, she's, she's in your party throughout a lot of the, uh, game. And, uh, she adds to that, I feel. But, as far as just being a character on your team, no. Uh, your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now. This will be a battlefield against the Shinra. You better uh, get down before you get involved. You mean Shinra? Shinra, those the hell those jackasses doing here? It appears you have a problem with the Shinra too. After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to have what I have to say for a moment? Yeah, sure. Do you know what's at the top of that mountain? Huh? Something's up there? Come on, let's get it together. The reactor and the condor. I can see you're very perspective, uh, perceptive. Yes, it's the reac a reactor and a condor. Seems the Shinra don't, doesn't like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. Damn, that's one big bird. But what are they trying to get rid of it? Why are they trying to get rid of it with weapons? What's wrong with having a condor on top of the reactor? Seems there's some type of special materia in the reactor above us. Because the condor came, the Shinra rushed troops here. The military wants to get the condor and all the villagers off this mountain. Condor is now warming its egg, which hatches only once every few years. We would like to protect the condor from being harmed. New lives. I'll do it. I'll protect them from Shinra. Good man, Barrett. Condor's egg, a real work of nature. We've got to protect the life of the planet. Good job. Good for you, Tifa. 
We don't have the ability to fight Shinra, that's why we've hired soldiers to help us. As a sponsor, you can help us with the contribution or by fighting alongside us. What do you think? You want to join us in our fight? What's there to think about? We gotta do it. Cloud. Alright, let's do it. So, that's the reason why this is gonna take, uh, it's gonna be a lot of money to do this, because you have to hire soldiers, and it's an interesting little mini-game. It's sort of like your tower defense, sort of. Uh, you guys will see here in a minute. So what do you guys gotta sell? Nothing that I need, and... Nothing that I need. Okay. You guys are completely useless. But yes, there is a mini game here. I figure since I have enough money, I have like, how much? 13,000? That's plenty to uh, do this mini game, so let's do it. Alright. Here's how we start there's the condor. Warming his egg on top of the reactor. So shall I let you in on our strategy? The enemy started our mountain reactor and we'll be climbing to reach it. We must set a trap and hire soldiers to protect the place. This is all we have. This village doesn't have any money. Even if we wanted to fight, we can't because we're broke. We need 400 gil to hire one soldier. So if we hire 20, we'll need 8,000 gil. We need to ask you to use your own money to hire these soldiers. Buy the equipment, set it up, give it commands. If you don't uh, have time, could you help us with a donation? If you want to donate the money, you can hire the soldiers. So, yeah, th I might actually hold off on this mini game then. Mm. I don't know. Uh, there's nothing I want to um, look up. Um. Yes, wait. Give me a minute. I want to go save, and um, I want to make sure that I'm not doing this for nothing. Because I, if I remember correctly, when I do this, they're going to give me an, a certain item, which will be very helpful for um, leveling. If I'm correct, if I'm correct in assuming what the item is, it'll be really helpful in leveling up materia. But I want to go out, I want to save, and I want to make sure that I'm doing this in, um, for good reason, so. Don't worry guys, um, I'll be right back. Okay. I am back, and after looking it up, yes, I was correct in assuming that, uh, that they give you a certain item here, which will be helpful to me. Very helpful to me. That is, assuming it's the right, it's the item I'm thinking it is. I didn't look up exactly what it was, because I'm trying to go through this game with j as much memory as I can without looking up, like, any guides or anything. Um, uh, all I did was look up and see if there was a reason to fight this battle. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, let's, let's go help these people out and do this mission. No, don't jump up there. Thanks for accepting. Shall I let you in on our strategy? Oh my god, you gotta, you gotta talk to me about this again. My oh goodness, goodness gracious. Blah, 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 blah. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna contribute money, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enough. Preparation's ready. Uh... Wait. Let's... You have ten enemies. They appear to be many beasts, so you may want to deploy more attackers. Ah, yes. Okay. This is the minigame. So, the first enemies um, are going to be... I'm not sure what they're going to be, but... Um, no. Now, we hire um, these people. These are just normal fighters. They're not strong against anything or weak against anything. They're just kind of normal. Now these guys, they're strong against these, like, beasts. And weak against the, uh, 
soldiers, or whatever. Barbarian, yeah, loses to Barbarian, beats Beast, so we should probably have a couple of attackers. Um, and as you see, they all have different things, so... Beats Barbarian, loses to Wyvern, uh, can shoot him for far. Beats Wyvern, loses to Beast, uh, all that good stuff. Can repair an ally, uh, can set a bomb, and then you can also set Stoner and Catapult. Can roll stone, can't move, uh, blah blah blah, all that stuff. So, we're gonna, we're gonna put a Defender. Now this is why it costs so much, because it's like... It's a lot of money for all this stuff. I can't see where it's shooting. Hmm, I hope I set that right, because usually it gives you a little marker where it's gonna aim. That sucks. Alright, I'm gonna put another, um, I'm gonna put another attacker here. And put a shooter there. Alright, let's start. Now the good thing about uh, just starting the game like that is you can keep, you can still purchase more units while the game's going. Alright, what do we got? We've got a beast right there. We've got a beast there. Awesome. Let's send these guys down after them. Action. Attack. Okay, that'll work. Action. Attack. Now, the further I get these guys down, the further down I can build units. Obviously, I can't build it down here yet, but once these guys reach down, Watch. Should make it so that I can build units down here. See? Now I can build units down here since my guys are moving down here. So you move down this way. So two beasts. Do 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 I'm gonna leave him there for a minute. All this music, man. Um, alright, I need a f fighter. Or an attacker. Go. Now you go after this thing, too. Countered enemy, good. Nice. I love that they uh, changed up the enemies. Like, they changed the enemies up to, like, because those aren't the normal models for the enemies and stuff. Oh, Wyvern. Okay. Uh. Just wait, just wait there. Hold on. I need to build a shooter to attack that guy. I'll leave him there for now. There we go. Run away! Now he's gonna sit there and attack the the Wyvern, or the Wyvern, however you want to pronounce that. Good, wait there. Kill him! Hold on. Uh, I need another shooter. Attack. I hope he's attacking the right one. That's not... No, <laughs> he's gonna die. So much stuff going on right now. Okay, okay. Good. Enemy destroyed. Nice. Uh, now you back up a bit. You go for that guy. 
you move right there. I need you to move closer. I need you to move closer. One of my my uh, sh attacker got died over here. Everybody's dead. Okay, there's at least one dead. Hold on. Uh, shooter, go for that guy. That's the next guy you're going after. Move. Attack. The models are so different, it's hard to find... Oh. Holy crap. I didn't expect my, uh, defender to... die so easily. There we go. Uh, just wait there. You need to get the hell out of there. You! Attack! What are you doing? There you go. Nice! Attack. In fact, I need another attacker. You need to move away. This is pretty much all this game is. It's sort of like a little tower defense game, but not really. Just wait there. Attack, please. There you go. Alright, you guys. Attack. It says there's two enemies remaining, so it's this enemy and that enemy right now. Good. You guys dead? You just wait there? Oh my god. I'd have to build another shooter to stop this guy. Jeez. You use so much of my money. One more hit and he's dead. Boom. Gone. Now, this is the big enemy here. I believe this is the final boss here. And my attacker's about to die, boom, dead. <laughs> Alright. Sending all my guys over here to attack this beast thing. I didn't even get to use this thing remove it. Damn, those guys do a lot of damage. And he's dead. I don't know how much life this thing has. Commander has 127 life. Nice. I think I'm gonna do it. Almost dead. And boom! Nice! We did it! That was good, but Shinra's troops will be back. Be sure and stop the area well. We don't know when they'll attack again. We have six allies left, so here's 1200 gil. Thank you. <clears throat> oh yeah, I found this just now on the battlefield. Maybe it'll come in handy for you guys. Magic comb. That's what I was looking for. So, I still have 8,000 gil. That wasn't too bad. Now, if that magic comb is 
I, I need to... That magic comb is for, uh... Nanaki. So, I am gonna have to see... I don't even know if I'm recording right now. Okay, I am. Thank God. If all if I recorded, if I did all that without recording, I would have been I would have been so upset. Um. Anyway, now I need to pull Naneki on my team, so I'm gonna have to get rid of one of them. I'll probably get rid of Barrett, maybe, or I might get rid of Tifa. It's either gonna be Tifa or Barrett. But that's what I did that for. Is the magic comb? Let's quickly. Let's get rid of Barrett to begin with. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move Nanaki over. He's a little bit behind in levels, but that's okay. So Carbon Bangle, Star Pendant, Magic Comb. Now, yes, you see what that says right there? Under the slot, Growth, it says Growth Normal. But Magic Comb says Growth Double, which means Materia will level up twice as fast on Nanaki. So, we're gonna level up Fire, Lightning, or Fire, Ice, and Lightning. And then we're gonna put an enemy skill on him. All. Uh, and we'll move Earth over. Put Earth on him, so he has an Earth all. Alright. Fire, Restore, and Lightning. So I'll be leveling those up. Those will be getting double AP because uh, of the item that he has. Let's put Nanaki in front. And we're going to save and end my episode here. So that'll be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed, subscribe for more. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. This is Skid. And make sure you guys tune in next week. Or... <laughs> Whatever, tune in next time for more Final Fantasy Weekend. 